the tools of the trade. So with the uh, rewrite of the Necronomicon, the manuscript that I'm doing, um, I was able to put together an entire list of the materials that you would need to perform all of the rituals within the Necronomicon. And um, it's going to be part of the introduction of my manuscript. And um, I actually have it right here and I thought I'd make a video for it. So for all of the Necronomicon ritu ritual tools, um, I have them listed in alphabetical order, and I'm just going to go through them, uh, probably read some of the descriptions, stuff like that. Hopefully uh, this kind of helps anybody that's hoping to work with the book or already working with it to make sure that you have everything that you need. So let's just get to it. <clears throat> and I, um, oh yeah, I already said that. So first you have the Agamas Saratu, which is the Watcher Bowl. Uh, this should be any fireproof bowl that you can make markings on. Then you have the Amulet of Ur. Mine is currently upstairs. Um, that's the, uh, that's the sigil on, or the seal that's on page 11 in the book. Had my finger on it. Um, then you have a Pentacle Bracelet, a Pentacle Necklace um, for some rituals, uh, also ones that I kind of found and added to the manuscript, um, would require you to have beer for libations or offerings, um, black robes for the preliminary invocation of the Watcher and rites of calling, um, you need the brazier of calling, which is used for to burn ceremonial fires to Gibeal, then you need a loaf of bread, which is supposed to be personal offering offerings to personal deities, <clears throat> then you have the censer for burning incense, Oh, I found that there's an extra line in my table. I gotta delete that. Um, then you have the Crown of Anu, which is in listed in the back of the Book of Calling. Um, then you have the Dagger of Inanna, the Frontlet of Calling, which is in the Book of Calling, the Girdle, or the what I termed the Girdle of Calling, which is mentioned on I believe one page in the book, uh, which is kind of like a cloth belt. Um, then you have God and Goddess statues for personal deities. Then you have um, honey for offerings, which is also very traditional in uh, Mesopotamian in religion, Mesopotamian era. Uh, incense, of course. Um, the lamps for lighting the four lamps. You could use tea lights or actual oil lamps. Um, oleerbos, which is stinging nettle. Uh, oil, if you choose to have oil lamps. Pine resin, which is burnt as an offering to the Watcher. Um, the Rock of Invocation, which um, it's not exactly, it's not specifically stated in the book. However, one of my mentors that I talked to uh, discussed with me about getting a Rock of Invocation. Now, if you read the book, the Rock of Invocation had the three seals of Mashu on it. So I actually found, by happenstance, in a place with no other red rocks that kind of looked like they came from the desert, I actually found a giant red rock. I believe I might have shown you guys in another video, but I'm not sure. And I put the three seals of Mashu on it. Um, it can be used in ritual over above the mandal. Um, yeah, I like to use it whenever I'm doing workings with uh, the Eurelia text or the Gate of Arzir. Um, where was I at? Salt, which is an offering to personal deities, discussed in the Book of Calling, I believe. Um, then you need the, the uh, seals for the gates, so the seal of Nana, the seal of Nabo, the seal of Inanna, the seal of Shamash, the seal of Nurgle, the seal of Marduk, and the seal of Adar. Um, I'm not going to go into the exact um, materials that you would need to make those, however, you guys can look that up in the, in the book itself. Um, then you need silk to cover up the seals of the Zonai when they're not being used. Um, sweet water, which is what you're supposed to drink when you are fasting before a gatewalk. The Sword of the Watcher, which is used to invoke the Watcher. Um, a wand of lapis lazuli. It could actually be a, a wand um, of any sort, but if you want to go extremely traditional, uh, you can get a wand made of lapis. Um, also, white robes, which are is a gatewalking ceremonial wear. Um, another thing about the robes, um, if you are <laughs> crafty enough to make different robes of different colors for each gatewalk, then you can just follow the color correspondences for those uh, for those gatewalkings. Um, so this is a complete, as complete as I can get, a complete list of the ritual tools and materials for the Necronomicon and all of it and all of its workings. I actually poured through the entire book yesterday line by line, making sure that I was able to uh, put this list together. 
Um, and like, uh, like I said, this is part of my manuscript. It's actually up to, I believe, 260-something pages right now. I've added a lot of content, including um, actually actual workings with the, um, the realms of the Igigi or the Zodiac, um, with different seals for those constellations that you can work with because each of those... Um, each of those constellations is to be walked much like a gate. Um, I've added a lot of explanations to the to almost ev actually every section of the book with a lot of different how-tos, and um, I think I'm on track to actually being done with it by the end of the year. Um, I set that goal for myself last Christmas, and I'm really coming to a point where I'm becoming more comfortable with the content of the book and how good it's how good it's going. So um, I'm probably going to be pulling more materials from the book to make videos on. Let me know if you guys have any questions about, about the manuscript itself or any th further things you would like explained. So that was a complete list of the ritual tools and materials for the Necronomicon, the gatewalkings, the calling rituals, and the Eurelia workings, um, along with uh, bas basically any spell work that you would use this book for. Oh, one thing that I did not include in there, now I think about it, is wax for making wax dolls for burning during the uh, Maklu rituals. So I got to add that in. But, you know, my brain's always working on this stuff. So hopefully this helps, guys. Good hunting.